couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, welcome to another installment of the never-ending fingerstyle rhythm pattern video series in which we alternate every week between beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Beginner, intermediate, and advanced indefinitely. So, today we're gonna work out the fingers in both hands with some advanced fingerstyle rhythm patterns and riffs. Um, so, first we're gonna learn a short one, a sweet one, a percussive jazz fusion one. And I kind of created a four chord chord progression for you to practice this with, and it sounds something like this. Okay, something like this, and you can loop it around. So, um, you start with D minor and you play strings 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, pretty simple, right? Now you do a thump and strum, like this. Okay, uh, if you don't know how to thump and strum, go watch the six percussive guitar techniques video and then come back. Um, you simply hit the bass strings with this part of the hand, the bottom of the palm, and then you use your fingernails to strum at the same time. Okay, like this. And that creates this sound. Then you pick strings one, two, and three together. So you get. Okay? Now practice this until you're comfortable with this. Then move on to the second half. The second half is strings one, two, and three again, twice. Then you play strings four, three, and then you thump and strum again. So the second half is okay, chord, chord, strings, four, three, and then thump and strum again. So together it's four, three, two, one, thump and strum, chord, 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 four, three, thump and strum. Okay, this is not too demanding. I know you can handle this, so let's go over this one last time slowly. That's all there is. Then you play F major 7. F major 7 is uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3 on strings 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, and you do exactly the same thing. Then you do D minor and F major 7 again. And then you do G minor add nine, which is um, a bar on third fret, and your pinky on the E string, the first string on five, okay, to get the, the add nine sound. So you pick strings one, two, three, and six this time. So instead of the fourth string, you just play the sixth string instead. So you get this, it's exactly the same pattern. Okay, but, you notice they did something different here. I took the pinky off in the middle of the picking pattern. I, uh, I took it off uh, on the second half when I pick the chord the second time. Remember, you pick the chord twice, and then you play strings six, three, and then thump and strum. So when you play the chord the second time, you take the pinky off. So it sounds like this. And you get this. Got it? That creates a sort of a mini solo inside the chord. Okay? So again, six, three, two, one, thump and strum, pick, and then pick it twice, take the pinky off the second time, then string six, three, thump and strum. And then you play A minor seven, you play it like this, three, five, and five on strings one, two, and three. This is a C chord, but if you play it with the open A string, instead of three on the A string, okay, this is C, if you play it with an A bass, it becomes A minor seven. So you play everything the same way, but your bass note this time is the fifth string. Okay, and then you play the G minor add nine again. 
and then you play A minor 7 flat 13. So you play uh, instead of 3, 5, and 5, you play 3, 6, and 5. Play like this to get that crystalline sound of the chord. So 3, 6, 5, and the open A string. And again, I take the finger off of the E string uh, exactly at the same spot that I took it off for the G minor at 9. Okay, to get this interesting sound. Okay, when I pick the chord the second time on the second half of the riff, I take the finger off of the E string to create an open E string sound to get that minor second sound. And then I start again, so D minor, F major 7, twice, and then G minor add 9, take the pinky off, then A minor 7, or A minor 7 flat 13 the second time, and take the finger off. Okay, so that's the first exercise. The second exercise is another short one because the third exercise will be a long one. Um, this is the chorus for The Boxer by Simon Garfinkel. I made it into a Travis Picking lick like this. The exercise here is to change the chord from this position to this position. This is C sharp minor. Um, you put on a bar on four, A minor shaped, and then you play a B chord like this. You keep the bar on the fourth fret and use your pinky for the seventh fret of the sixth string. And you play strings two, three, four, and six. Okay? Uh, this is the G shaped chord voicing. This is a G chord, it's a, if you want to bar it, but you don't. So this is the finger style way to go about it. A bar on four, seven on the bass. So practice this, okay, for C sharp minor, uh, play strings two, three, four, and five. And for B, two, three, four, and six. So let's learn the melody first, because the melody is pretty easy. It's the Travis Picking part that's, um, that's the advanced part. So uh, it's five, five, four, five on the second string. Okay? And you're inside the C sharp minor chord and you can uh, harmonize with the third string. And you can also take the pinky off of the third string. Okay? To create a six, six, four, six harmony with the third string. Okay? And then you start the Travis picking. And then it's 5-5-5, five, 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 still inside the C-sharp minor chord. It's with the bass notes. And then you make the transition into the B chord, but you leave the 5 on the second string, and then you pick it and pull it off. Okay, but your new bass uh, note is the E bass string on 7. Now the alternating bass notes for the G-shape chord are the E and D strings, so you get this. Okay, so... Um, okay, and then you play four again, so it's five, pull off to four on the second string, then four on the second string again, then six on the third string, and then four on the second string again. So uh, you play the six with your third finger. That's the only one you've got free because you're not gonna stretch your second finger and, you know, uh, it might hurt your tendons. So you use the finger which is closest. So you have your second finger for five and your third finger for six. So like this. Um, so that's basically it. It's uh, And then you just loop it around. Now when you play five, five, four, five, when you loop it around, you're still on the B chord so you keep playing it. 
Okay, so it's a loop between C sharp minor and B. Now, I'm not gonna teach you Travis picking here. Uh, I've got a video for that, the 20 beginner uh, uh, Travis picking exercises video. Go watch it if you're not fluent with Travis picking, but when you play it with Travis picking, it sounds like this. eventually okay I um, yeah, the major part of learning this is learning the correct finger positions okay playing it like this and then like this okay watch my fingers change keep the five third finger and then five again then back to the C-sharp minor. Okay, so you can practice this uh, first before you even add any rhythm to it. Okay, now for the main course, the big riff. We're gonna learn a riff made out of three different riffs. Two of them have the same picking pattern, but they have different finger positions. Um, and the third one is kind of a um, harmonic chord change thing, you'll see. Um, it's a lot of uh, double stops, but let's quit the theoretical babble and play it. It sounds like this. That's basically it. So um, you bar the second fret for the A chord and you leave the fifth string open so you have the second, third, and fourth strings barred okay, for A. And you play this. You play the fifth string. Then you play strings two, three, and four. And you hammer on three on the second string and four on the fourth string. Now this rhythm pattern, the beginning of it, um, it's kind of the same thing as the beginning of the traveling chord riff that I taught you uh, a few weeks ago. So if you've learned that, then it's basically the same thing. You hammer them on, and then you slap, then you pull them off again. You play strings two, three, and four, and you pull them off. So it's uh, the fifth string, the chord, strings two, three, and four, you hammer on three on the second string, four on the fourth, and you slap, then you play the chord again, strings two, three, and four on three, two, and four, and you pull it off. And then the fifth string again. So it's kind of a palindrome. It uh, ends the same way it started. Okay? Upwards and backwards. So fifth string, hammer on, slap, pull off, fifth string and then you play this okay uh, two on the third string five and five on strings two and four okay this five two and five on strings two three and four and then you play the second chord strings uh, two three and four again um, on three two and four that's your second chord, that's the chord you hammered on. But this time, you put it on entirely, including the bar, because then you take it off, okay? So it's, it's these two chords. And then you slap, uh, you actually thump and strum the A chord, okay? The first time around, you thump and strum Hammer on the three and four again on strings two and four, so it sounds like this. Okay, and then you play strings two, three, and four with the bar, you play the A chord. So it's thump and strum, hammer on, A chord. Okay, like this. So what you get is this. Okay, five and five, actually five, two, and five. 3, 2, and 4, thump and strum on A, 
hammer on the three and four again, and then play the A. Okay, pick it. Strings two, three, and four together. And that's the riff. The second time around, you just thump and strum the A, and you don't hammer on and pull off. So it's just this. Okay? And that's the picking pattern. Okay, that's the first one. It's... Okay, now the second riff is the same picking pattern, but it's a different uh, chord, it's D. So um, we bar nine on strings one, two, and three. The open D string is our bass note this time. And we pick this. Okay, this time we hammer on 10 and 11 on the second and third strings. We pick the second and third strings on nine and we hammer on 10 and 11. And then um, the slap and then we pull them off. So, okay, bass, hammer on, slap, pull off and then bass again. And then we slide those same two notes, 10 and 11, to 12 and 13. Okay, that's the third chord this time. And then back again. Okay, so it's... Mm, so it's... Okay, with the thump and strum. Again, exactly the same picking pattern. Our three chords are 9 and 9, 10 and 11, and 12 and 13. On strings two and three, our bass note is the fourth string. It's exactly the same pecking pattern. Peck. It's exactly the same picking pattern as the A picking pattern. Okay. Okay. Same picking pattern, different three chords. These three chords are, and these three chords. Okay? Once you get the chords down, the picking pattern is exactly the same. Now, the third one is different. It's this. Okay? It's an E picking pattern. Now, we're moving chords forward and backwards, and this time we're doing E, D, and E. So, it's a D shape. 4, 5, and 4 on strings 1, 2, and 3. Okay? For E. For D, it's uh, 5, 7, and 7. Okay, remember the first exercise? We played it here on 3, 5, and 5. Now it's on um, 5, 7, and 7. Two frets above what we played. And then E is two frets above that, 7, 9, and 9. Now the picking pattern is this. Bass, okay, the E bass, and then the chord. Then we slap, and then D, then E, then it's this. Okay, it's ba 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 ba. That's the sound. It's bass chord slap chord. It's the bass again, five seven seven again. D slap immediately, and immediately after that you play the first E. Four five and four. So you get this. Ba da da. Okay. Ba da. Okay? Bass chord, slap chord. Bass chord, slap chord. Okay? This uh, looks simple, but sometimes when you try simple things out, they're a lot more difficult and confusing than the harder stuff, because uh, sometimes you think something is harder, so you concentrate more, and when you think something is simple, you just say, all right, I'll wing it, and then you can do it. So um, sometimes it's better to work on these things slowly. So, got it? Bass, E, slap, D, E, bass, D, slap, E. Okay, and then you can just go back to the D, and then go back to A, and loop that around. So uh, that's the third exercise. Not as difficult as you first thought, right? Um, but still, 
takes work and um, I hope you're gonna have a lot of fun with it but before you go practice this subscribe to my channel if you haven't already there's a ton of lessons already on the channel for you to learn and I upload a new one every couple of days or so and a full finger style arrangement lesson every couple of weeks so go download the tab for this lesson the link is right below in the description you can't miss it uh, it's over at the website everything is for free the tab the lessons everything but if you want to give something back there's a large blue donation button right above the tabs you can't miss that uh, it's a large blue donation button that says donate uh, and everything goes right back into lick and ref into making the lessons making the exercises working on them producing the lessons editing it uploading it it all takes time and work so if you want to help out I'd be more than grateful for anything you wish to give so thank you in advance now you will practice this if you have any questions leave them in the comment and I'll try to answer them in the next lesson so thank you very much for watching feel free to share this lesson with anyone you want uh, and I'll see you in the next lesson Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.